Page 244, number 2b, asks us to determine if each of the following functions has an inverse. That is, determine if the given function is a one-to-one -one function. If it is not, show why. If it is, represent the inverse function using the same form as the given function. And we're asked to describe y equals negative 2x, where, the domain, where uh, x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 3. So first, let's write this out in terms of uh, what we have going on. So we got y equals negative 2x. Again, in order to find uh, an inverse, all we simply do is we reverse the x and the y. So we have x equals negative 2y, and we solve for y. So we need to divide divide this out by negative 2. We do one side, do the other side. So x over negative 2 is the inverse of the original function. Now let's first plug this value in the original one into our calculator. So we're going to have obviously the original y1 was a negative 2x but again we got to take into account the domain. The domain was greater than 0, x was greater than 0 so x second test option number 4 greater than or equal to 0 and then we also got to take account of was less than or greater less than or equal to 3 so again we got to do that second test and it's this time is less than or equal to or option 6 uh, less than 3 so and let's take a look at what that graph looks like if I graph that there is the original function the original function now remember I want to reflect this among uh, about the y equals x line which goes right diagonally right through the origin so let's go ahead and this I'm claiming that this right here is that indeed that function so let's find out if that indeed is the case so I'm going to go back to my y equals. So now that I plotted my uh, my original function, we need to look at the domain. And what the trick is, if I go to my table, in this case, second table, and I can see, obviously, I don't have any values for negative 3 or that because the domain is simply between 0 and 3. So, and remember, my x and my y is flip-flop. So, at uh, 0, 0, but obviously at 3, I have a negative 6. So, when I go back and plug in the inverse, so having uh, an x of 3 and a y of, of negative 6, I should have a value of negative 6 and 3 in the domain. That's going to help set up my domain for my inverse function. So my inverse function, again, we're going to plug that in. And that comes down to what I came up with, which was x divided by negative 2. Close it out. And again, my new domain now is set up here in my table. I have x is going to be uh, greater than or equal to the value of negative 6. Greater than or equal to option number 4, a negative 6. And it's also going to be less than or equal to the value of 0. So I'll plug that part in also just so we get it clear. And x would be, second test, less than or equal to 0, which is option number six less than or equal to zero and let's go ahead and hit the graph and see what this looks like and see if it is indeed the reflection among the xy axis and indeed it is uh, again remember your window is a 10 by 10 window but it's a little warped because it's a rectangle not a perfect square so but if you can hear over on the side of the table you can compare it to the functions uh, if you go to your second table and check out you basically have inverses in terms of the values of one or the, another where you need to be